Hello everybody, welcome back to another managed training session. Today we're going to be running through our new feature which is our lease renewal wizard. So as you can see I am in my lease renewal task. I have finalized a lease term and a rent increase with my owners and tenants. I've also received my signed lease agreement and now I need to go and add those dates into the system using that new lease renewal wizard. What we're going to do is go to our lease tab, select that renew lease button. We're going to firstly start by checking our tenants in the property, adding any additional ones if need be. Once we've done that, we're going to move on to those lease dates. So adding in that new lease start date into the system followed by the frequency the lease will be for. Now you can change that end of lease date manually. You might have a 52 week lease that you need to update the dates for. So just choosing that accordingly. And then if it's on a month to month or periodic, yes or no. Are you making any rental adjustments? Yes, so I'm going to add that rent increase in, pop the date, choose the start date, and then that final reason for the change. Once you have done that, it's going to confirm if you are charging any bills. That yes or no option is there to choose from. The system's automatically going to populate the data from the owner's overview, but you can go in and delete those bills if need be. You can edit and update the lease renewal fees if need be. You can restore to the default, add again, change all of them, many different options. But once you're happy and you're good to go with those bills, you're going to select that renew button. That is gonna renew the lease, finalize everything in the system. You can see straight away that the dates have been updated. You can also see further down as well that the rental history has been entered in. Now you do have that ability to delete it if need be with that little X button. Going to the transactions tab, you can see that that lease renewal fee has been scheduled for payment. And then I wanna make sure that I finalize my task off. Going back to that lease renewal tab, I'm gonna let the owners and the tenants know that all of those dates have now been updated in that lease tab for them to review. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna complete that task off.